So I do get asked a lot, um, what's the difference between xenon headlights and halogen headlights? But mainly it's from a how can I tell which ones I've got. Obviously if your adjusters are broken it's a little bit tricky to see them when they're trying to self-level. So there are other ways that we can actually test and this will highlight why I ask some of the questions I do when people ask questions. So this one in front here is a xenon and the one at the back is a halogen. It's extremely difficult for you to actually tell the difference just from the outside so we're going to have a look at how we can actually uh, how can we actually differentiate between the two of them. Unless your eyesight is particularly good uh, you won't be able to actually uh, tell much of a difference because the lenses are only slightly different and the labels are entirely obscured. You can see that that one, although it's going to feature under the slam panel, has a little uh, electrical symbol on it to uh, warn about the ballast and igniter system and the halogen one does not. So that's a dead giveaway, but it's not going to be possible to see because usually it's hidden under the slam panel as I say. Both the lenses have markings on them that say D2S, so that's not going to help you either. And that's principally because the same lens is used on both headlights. First thing to do is to check the back of them. Now you can see that on the Xenon unit, um, obviously you've got this off the car so you can see a lot more, but you can tell that there is a big difference in the back of the cap that covers the dip beam area. It's got a rubberized section on it and that's really to, uh, to allow for the containment of the igniter system. The cap on the back of the halogen unit is entirely solid, but that's not to say that somebody won't have changed them in the past. The oldest X-types are approaching 22, 23 years old, so remove the cap and check. So even if you can't visibly inspect it, you'll be able to feel that there's an igniter block on the back of it. That will be the biggest difference. On the halogen side, you've literally just got a bulb with some wiring on it, so that should be possible for you to tell the difference either by sight or touch. You can also tell that the levelling motors are very different. The wiring leading to the Xenon one is four wire, whereas the one leading to the halogen one is three. If you aren't able to get those covers off, then there is another way to check. So that ballast there may be visible or could potentially be felt for, um, but certainly underneath the back cap, you'll notice that there's a difference in wiring and this area is a little bit easier to get to than the cap that we previously removed. So you'll be able to see the wiring for the xenon ballast under that particular screw cap. If you look at the halogen side you won't have the same wiring connector there. That's quite a large connector, it's got five leads running into it, two of them are quite thick gauge. Uh, that should give you an idea of which lighting you have because underneath the halogen one you'll notice you don't have any connector of that sort whatsoever. There is another way to check and that's by looking at your headlight switch. Now if you have the switch on the left hand side, chances are you've got halogen lights, but there are markets uh, somewhere in, in the world outside of the UK, Europe, Japan, Australia, uh, which will use a Xenon style of switch with halogen units that don't have any leveling whatsoever. I've not yet come across halogen headlights that do self-level, but they may well exist. Uh, but certainly this is a good guide. If your switch looks like the one on the left, you've got halogen lights. However, that should be a secondary check. Your primary should always be the headlights themselves. Hopefully that's been uh, of some use to you. Um, it's been of some help, uh, given you the guidance that you need. Uh, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment. You know, offer your ideas on what else I need to cover just to make things a little bit easier for you guys to work out what you've got. Um, and of course anything that you can add to this discussion that helps others, please feel free to do so in the comments section. Thank you very much.